or engineering. Today we'll talk about how to calculate the flat length of the sheet metal. So the development length between the proe and the theoretical calculated length or the value for the sheet metal we'll see today. So how exactly the development length will be get calculated into the proe and how to calculate the same length into the by the theoretical method so we, we are going to see that today first thing is uh, the total length calculation for example we have added one of the examples here which is a simple part having a bend in the sheet metal so a is the vertical length of that part and b is the horizontal length here is the bend allowance so how what is the exact length of the flat or the how to calculate that flat length it is nothing but the very simple formula that is the lt lt is nothing but the total flat length which is equals to the vertical length that is the a plus b the horizontal length plus the multiplication of a and b a and b is not uh, the length multiplication but it is the bend allowance value so we'll tell you how exactly this bend allowance value comes and then how to calculate these numbers develop length so very first thing is the bending allowance as we have talked that is the ba then the second one is the y factor so we'll we'll talk about the y factor how to calculate that and then we'll talk about the k factor So bending allowance is the method used to calculate the developed length of the flat sheet metal required to make a bend of specified radius and angle for example it is an allowance which is uh, available or which is given to the sheet metal part it is based on uh, based on the different materials of the sheet metal so that is what is the bending allowance we allow to how uh, bending of those parts so now move what is the k factor means the k factor is the ratio between the inside radius of the bend that is the this is what is the inside radius of the bend with respect to the neutral layer so the red one is the neutral layer and the sheet metal thickness so thickness is the t so whichever thickness we have so the k factor equals to the delta that is nothing but the radius to the neutral ratio by t that is the thickness what is the y factor this is a numerical value defined by the location of the sheet metal material bend line with respect to the thickness so the y factor is nothing but k factor into pi by 2 so the k factor what we have seen in the earlier slide uh, which is multiplied by the pi by 2 will become the y factor for us here is the table which we have added what are the different y and k factor values for the different materials we have so we got multiple questions from where this y and k factor values come so all these values comes with the repetitive or multiple uh, experiments done on to the different metals into the test lab and after that this uh, multiple testing samples values has been arrived and it has been documented and these are the standard y, y and k factor values which is being used for the different materials at the different thicknesses so let's take a one example so if you see this is the bend part which is having a 90 percent bend r is the inside radius and then there are different parameters which are already we have considered the same time this is the flat length the and now we just want to calculate what is the l that is the flat length of this bend so the formula is very simple like l equals to uh, 
uh, in bracket if we say pi by 2 into r r is nothing but the inside radius plus y factor which we have seen earlier into the t t is equals to the thickness and whole is getting multiplied by the bend angle so in this case it is a 90 by 90 so 1 if you are having 45 or 60 degree or different bend angles then that by divided by 90 will be the multiplication factor for this and you will get the length uh, this is just one study part which I have added here so we will go through the two different methods how to calculate the flat length of for this part one is in the proe and the second one is in the uh, theoretical calculation so if you see here we do have two bands added with the 90 degree band and these are the lengths which are mentioned like 150, 150 and the height is 50 so and uh, if you have proe you can open a proe and then start creating this part with any of the thickness which you want and then take those dimension create that uh, create a part of that band which has given in earlier slides now here there is the options which is available you can add y factor that is the point for you here moving to you can again add another band and again you can add, add a y factor that is the point for you there because we are using the sheet metal the uh, metal part here now there is an option which is available in proe so you can create a develop length for that and you will get a value that is the distance nothing but from this h to dc that is the 231.13 mm this is the metric distance which we have here here uh, move to the theoretical calculation if it doesn't have proe and still we want to calculate that so it is very simple uh, in this case like the a that is the 150 which we are having dvl that is the first bending location then what is the height and then the second bending location then again the third height so the very simple is like lt which is the total length that is a plus dvl1 plus b plus dvl2 plus c now we will see how to calculate those dvl1 and dvl2 that is the bending length for for that area so as you see this is overall we have talked earlier so we have to apply the same formula that is pi by 2 into r that is nothing but the inside radius plus y factor into the t that is the thickness and the bend angle divided by the 90 degree and then we will get 15.58 as the length over there so now we do have a similar angle with the same thickness so we'll be getting same development length 2 it is 15.58 now next if we add those along with the a and b values and then the c values and we'll get to 31.16 that is the theoretical development length if we the flat length which was calculated in the proe was 231.13 and then into the theoretical value 231.16 so this is how we the overall theoretical length or the flat length of the sheet metal so thank you for watching our channel design engineering if you like our video so just press the like button and if you want to see such kind of more videos in terms of the mechanical engineering or the design engineering you can subscribe our channel thank you